gas tank isn't topped off, things of that nature. Even a short trip can turn into a very long day for a person in this type of condition. And Lieutenant, how do you, the fellow troopers, all prepare for a day like today? What do you guys really make sure to have and, and be ready for this? Uh, we always have our extra clothing, hats, mittens, uh, throwing some water in our, in our vehicles. Uh, I personally carry like a shovel to help, uh, maybe even shovel to or even if I get myself stuck somewhere, uh, I can get myself out a little bit. But we, we've always been preparing for the worst. All right, Lieutenant Eric Baker joining us uh, from his crew there. Lieutenant, we appreciate your time. appreciate what you guys are all doing today, and we'll chat with you soon. Come up this weekend to take advantage of what's going to be some pretty outstanding powder skiing. When all is said and done, hopefully about a foot or so will fall. The snow started really coming down at about 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, and while the wind so far here at the base isn't all that bad, up at top, they've already had to shut down some lifts. It is cold, too. Down here, it's about 10 degrees. Up top at the summit, it is uh, right around zero. Now, the reason I do have to give a shout out, the reason I'm here today is because we are doing the Sugarloaf Charity Summit, the annual summit, which again this year, unfortunately, is going to have to be virtual. But by the end of the night, we will have raised a couple of hundred thousand dollars for Maine Cancer, the Martha B. Weber Breast Care Center, and the Patrick Dempsey Center. But if you haven't already made it up here, may I suggest that you uh, just hunker down at home come on up a little later on once they have all this powder groomed down. So that's what's happening here at Sugarloaf. The snow is just starting to fall and the skiers are in. Yeah, good afternoon. Oh, in just the last 30 minutes, the snowfall has really started to pick up and the winds are getting stronger by the hour here. At last check, we're in Wells, by the way. We're really close to the water. Gusts are over 40 miles per hour. And have a look around. You can't see much, can you? I'd say visibility is down to a couple hundred feet at the most. So very slow going, and the snow is starting to accumulate more visibly on the roads. It's these winds that really define this as a blizzard versus just a typical winter storm with heavy snow. It's that snow on top of strong, gusty... There, Talia. So we're just going to go a little further north to Androscoggin County. Nora Hogan has been standing by. Yeah, we've been seeing most of the scenes, you know, more toward the coast, so she has the picture for us in Auburn, a little more inland, where they're still getting a decent clip of snow. Nora. It's not too bad right now, actually. Still snowing, but it's still that nice, light, fluffy, pretty snow. And the wind has died down a little bit. Earlier, there were some big gusts of wind that made it a little difficult to see, a little uncomfortable. But that, at least for the moment, has died down just a little bit. However, I still recommend that you don't go out on the roads because you never know when that wind might pick back up. As you can see, it is starting to pick up a little. So definitely stay home. But since the conditions aren't too bad, if you do have a hill out back, it might be a good time to bring the kids in the front yard, the backyard, to do a little bit of sledding while it's still not too bad out. Because if you've been following, not snowball weather, I wasn't able to make a snowball, so you can't do that. And I also, I'll show you something a little, oh, it's picking up actually. I'll show you something a little embarrassing. I've been working on a snowman, and it did not go well. So it's not snowman building weather either. But again, if you have a hill out back or out front, you probably could get some good sledding done. But still recommending, don't take to the roads if you can avoid. way to one of the worst spots up in Camden, Jim. Yeah, thanks a lot. So, uh, in the thick of it, we are now in the middle of the blizzard. This is Michael Dwyer over here. Go uh, take a take a shot at Michael. We just talked to him. He's a, a local uh, cloud driver, but he actually works for a landscaping company in the summer. But they have multiple properties they have to tend to. Obviously, the parking lot we've uh, uh, decided to call our house for the day uh, is one of them. And he says, this is really unbelievable. He was saying... He hasn't seen a winter like this in several years. Uh, if you go back, you know that we haven't had a, a big, big storm like that. We want to show you the wind, too. So this is our little bag to cover the camera. I mean, this is the wind, all right? And then, look at, look at this. Into the shrubs. I mean, this is what we're talking about. We can barely stand. I'm glad I have three coats on. And my mother-in-law gave me these flannel-lined car pants, like, Five years ago, I never wore them. So glad I have them today. 
Uh, anyway, so here we are in Camden. Uh, this is probably the brunt of it now, uh, but we'll be checking in with you later on throughout the day. So. Street, but uh, not, not much activity. The stores are basically closed. We're seeing a handful of people walk by, some revelers going to the Commercial Street Pub, which is open. There's a coffee shop that's open. But mostly news vehicles and police vehicles and plows out here on the street and nothing else as, again, the winds are whipping up. I have up. to agree with Phil that the winds are picking up more frequently out here in Westbrook. And the thing is, uh, it's just accumulating on the ground. But because of these strong winds, uh, you might feel the same way if you look out your door at your car. But, for example, the cars in this parking lot are not filled with snow because the wind is just whipping that snow off of them. So that's a, that's a plus. I guess. <laughs> Not a lot of work and cleaning off your car at the end of the day if you do have to work today. Um, but another thing I wanted to mention with the wind gusts is that uh, when plows pass through, uh, it, it is covering the roads once again very quickly. So uh, if you do have to be out, just make sure you take your time out there. And another positive with this storm, it may not be for a today thing, but maybe for tomorrow, if you do enjoy snow and snow activities, winter activities, uh, then you could possibly break out the sled and uh, maybe the uh, snowshoes and all that fun stuff for tomorrow if you're free and able to do that for anyone who's been looking forward to it because I believe this is the first big storm uh, that we've had this winter so I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to that maybe not today but for now I'll go back to you can see it kind of floating not as much right at this minute but it is pretty windy and we get those gusts where it just picks up all of a sudden so definitely not a great time to be out. And in terms of visibility, because that wind has picked up, it's getting more and more difficult to see on the roads. So now is definitely, it's too late, stay at home, please stay off the roads. Um, earlier in the day, I could see a building over past the parking lights there and some trees, and now I can't even see that. And you probably can't see it either from, from the camera, but it's definitely decreased in visibility, so please stay home and conditions there. Well, conditions have continued to worsen here in Bedford, New Hampshire. We're along the Everett Turnpike here in Bedford at the Bedford Tolls, and you can see the visibility is the biggest problem for travelers this afternoon, and it's only going to get worse. Visibility now here on the Everett, uh, maybe down to a half a mile or even less. The good news is that not many travelers have been on the road uh, this morning or up until now that they're dealing if they're, those that are dealing with some uh, not only road conditions and visibility but also we've had some cars pull into where we are uh, to scrape the ice off of their windshields and their windshield wipers but the good news is i was talking to a department of transportation plow driver earlier this morning and they've been after it since six six o'clock when the snow started falling here uh, the traffic is light. It's a Saturday, which is beneficial. Probably not as many people on the roadways that would normally be, and a lot of people probably heeding the warnings and staying home and just watching the snow from indoors. From Bedford, New Hampshire, I'm Jason King. Back to you. And the speed along the entire turnpike has now been reduced to 45 miles per hour. So this means from the New Hampshire state line all the way up to mile marker 109, Again, unless it's an emergency, officials repeatedly telling us over and over, do not be on the roads. But if you do have to go out, remember the speed on the turnpike, again, now 45 miles per hour. Also, give those snow plows plenty of room to do their jobs. Our total coverage of today's storm continues. No, coming up after the break. It's, it's just snow. But anyway, actually, it seems a hair lighter. I thought I just heard Sarah say, it's a hair lighter. Uh, that's nice, but I can tell you, look at this uh, snowbank here. I want to introduce you to uh, Michael Dyer. He's one of the plow truck drivers we bumped into. Now, normally he works for a landscaping company, but this is how they make money in the winter. They uh, plow certain properties, and here's what he had to say. It's pretty wild. Uh, I haven't seen one like this in uh, quite a few years. Uh, you can't travel very fast because you can't see any distance. And uh, you got to watch out for the other guys, and some people forget the headlights. Oh, all of a sudden, they're just there. And, uh, no, it's, uh, it's pretty wild. Pretty, pretty wild. That's yeah, really wild. And what he was saying, too, is that you can't tell the road from the sidewalk because, again, everything is white. There's nobody out. I mean, here we have another plow truck coming here. But uh, this is the situation, and this is what it looks like. Blizzard in May. We'll send it back to you for now.
I'm glad you're making friends out there, Jim, and we're continuing with this. Let's get right outside to get another check of the conditions. WMTW News 8's meteorologist Dustin Bonk is live in York County. So, Dustin, what are you experiencing just a little bit to our south? Yeah, good afternoon. It seems every 30-minute window here, it is getting increasingly windy. And I've been uh, having a hard time finding exact reports, but I'd estimate we're in about the 50 mile per hour gust range, give or take around here. The snowfall rate continues to pick up. It's rapidly accumulating, but you know what? One of the struggles of blizzard conditions is that we do see snow drifts, snow piling up in one spot, but with the roads often maybe a bit more clear, at least at times. So if you're looking to get a good snowfall reading today, it's a challenge. Stay away from the drifts. Try to find a good clear uh, patch of snow to maybe find a good snowfall reading. I'd say we got snow just here snow. at least and still counting, of course. But these winds are brutal. The wind chill is brutal. And low bits of you can barely see 100, maybe 200 feet at the most. Now, I've been seeing a lot of plows coming through here. We're in wells. We're pretty close to the water. But with conditions just continuing to kind of deteriorate, these are blizzard conditions, not just your typical winter storm. Coastal York is underneath that blizzard warning through early tomorrow morning, and I know it has expanded inland for some other counties. This is brutal weather. If you can avoid going outdoors, you should. You can see, obviously, that you can barely see too far in front of you. That means a danger of travel. It's whiteout conditions, and there's not exactly much relief in sight. I'm keeping up my eye on the radar. There's still plenty more of this snow is still on the way. So for the time being, we're trying to stay warm. We'll be in wells all day long. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Dustin, go warm up there. And officials have been saying for the past few days, stay off the roads today. And for good reason, of course, it sounds like many of you are heeding this warning, though. So let's head up 95 to Portland, where News 8's Phil Hirschkorn is live. And Phil, I'm going to ask, what are you seeing? But I think I already know the answer to that question. Well, I, yes, as I said last half hour, I'm not seeing very much, but we've changed our location, Ali. This is obviously a storm hitting coastal Maine, so why not take a look at the coast, the water? This is Casco Bay, and I don't know if you can see them, but I can see them. Lots of ripples on, on the bay from these winds, which keep whipping up the snow and, and getting stronger and the gusts more frequent as the afternoon goes on. It's obviously uh, getting chillier out here. And uh, not in addition to the four inches or more of snow, which we know has already fallen in Portland, visibility continues to get worse. I just want you to take a look over here. That's Ocean Gateway. That is, if you can see it, maybe you can see the outline of it where the cruise ships come in, where uh, sometimes there are big events in Portland at Ocean Gateway, and it's very hard to see. We're not even a 1,000 feet from there, and, uh, you know, it's hard to see. So the visibility keeps getting worse. The snow is piling up, and the winds are more frequent and stronger uh, near whiteout conditions uh, right here in Portland. Uh, as the afternoon goes on, the storm for sure is getting worse where I'm standing. Back to you, Allie. All right, Phil, thank you. All right, and the wind is kind of brutal out there, pushing the snow over the place, making it hard to measure in some places. You know, parking lot, one spot might have nothing right next to it, a ton. We have news at Talia Clark in Westbrook for us. Talia, how are you holding up with the wind out there? <laughs> this wind is crazy out here, and I do have to agree with uh, that plow driver that Jim talked to, and what Jim was saying earlier up in Camden, is that I think this is the first big storm we've had in the past few years. I've only been living in Maine for three years now, and I think I'm really being introduced today to what a real Maine winter feels like. I'm in the elements out here, and it is cold. My car was um, being shaken around by this wind. It's strong. It's nothing to mess around with. Uh, and there is actually, I'm here in Westbrook now, but there is a parking ban in Westbrook so if you are a Westbrook resident uh, you just want to make sure you go to the town's website to see where you are able to park in case you have to move your car in this make sure you don't get towed or get a ticket that'd be the worst to wake up Sunday morning looking for your car and <laughs> it's not there uh, I'll be out here uh, all evening uh, keeping you up to date with the conditions out here in Westbrook but for now I'm gonna toss it back to you guys well, the conditions are not too bad out here in comparison to earlier today a couple hours ago the wind was just blowing all around and now the snow is falling lightly from the sky. It's actually really pretty out here, uh, but uh, one thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, the cars, you might not, you might notice if you look out your door and see your car, it might not have a lot of snow on it because this wind is blowing that all around. It's light and fluffy, but one thing uh, that you do have to take care of if you have to go somewhere is these windshield wipers get the, the ice 
So I'm going to scrape that off, attempt to. Our Channel 8 folk talk, Diane, has put me to work, so I think by the time the night's over, her car will be nice and clean. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're going to want to make sure you scrape all of that off, and then also you're going to want to, I'm not doing a great job, <laughs> and then you're going to want to scrape your windshield too, and get that snow off the top of your car, so everybody is up in Auburn now. Nora, what's the scene there? It's not too bad. I keep saying this every time you come back to me because really earlier in the day the winds were whipping and it felt cold and it hurt your face. But now it's still that nice, light, gentle, soft snow. And honestly, this girl's like Jackie from the, the 70s show. In other parts of the state. But don't get too excited because conditions could change. I also want to show you more snow has been collecting. And again, because of the wind, it's a little difficult to really measure the buildup. But now it's looking like it's a little bit closer to around two inches. And it is pretty cold. It's 10 degrees here, not accounting for wind chill. And we had some condensation down here below the TV truck. And it's just frozen solid. So just be careful. <laughs> Things might be a little bit slippery because if there's any condensation anywhere, it's just freezing. But we'll keep you posted as conditions change. Nora Hogan reporting live in Auburn. Back to you guys in the studio. Recordings are in effect for more than 10 million people across 10 states. It's really almost a minor hurricane with snow. Whiteout conditions are expected in some regions, causing several governors to declare states of emergency. We're ready for what could be a really rough storm. More than 3,500 flights in or out of the U.S. were canceled Saturday, according to the Flight Aware Tracking Service. And authorities are advising residents to stay off the roads if possible. I'm just definitely going to stay inside, make sure we've got our shovels out, you know, just stocking up. You get the plows ready, the snowblowers ready, and then you just pray it stops snowing as soon as possible. The National Weather Service predicts this will be a historic major winter storm for eastern New England, as well as parts of New Jersey, where forecasters are calling for up to a foot and a half of snow. It's great. I mean, it's a good chance to get some peace and quiet in the city. Kind of close your eyes and pretend you're out in nature. Uh, nice change of pace. I'm Chris Wynn reporting. Well, some dangerous conditions from this storm that we're seeing today. Okay, so right now we're joined with the Brunswick Police Chief on the line with us. Chief, appreciate you chatting with us and taking the time. So what are conditions looking like in the Brunswick area at this point? Well, we had a lot of drifting snow, um, poor visibility, and uh, luckily a lot of people have stayed home.